Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I didn't get any comments saying you want to see the moon ahead, so I won't do that. But I am finally going to purchase a land. There aren't any houses for sale in Morthal, but if you're interested... Excellent. If you don't mind getting your feet wet, the best bet is to head north past the men. Now, I need to do this fast, because I also saw a guy... Well, I did this before on this... I'm not going to lie, I did this before on other, well, challenges. I always do this, because, you know, it's a good way to get money, like, worth your money, basically. So, we do this. I'm going to the closest place, which is this. Because I want to get this guy before anything else. Because this guy, I can cut my own wood, which is very valuable to me. And hopefully I can do it forever because, you know, I need logs for the house. If you don't know what this deal, I think it's the hearth tower. Hold on, I got the thing right next to me. Nice, that's him. The green shirt one. Lady God, doing some building, eh? We can. Sure thing, friend. I can use a break. There we go. It is called. Hearth Fire. Yep, that's what it is. So, we got him. But I want to show you the place we're going to live. It's in the swamp, by the way. So. Basically, call me Shrek. I know it's a bad joke, but still. It's right next to your tomb, so I can get some XP, basically. I think it's still reproduced, I don't know. Plus, these assholes. And I am wearing Orcus armor. Yeah, I finally get the blacksmith to make this. And also, as you can see, I've got Emily boots. I don't have the necessary stuff I can do to make this the draconic boots. But I got a shield. So I'm happy with that. And also, I am level 32. I got done with one part of the DLC. I still need to do the not down guard. I did complete the down guard DLC, which is fun. I love it. Ah, oh, here it is. This is where we're gonna basically live. Here's the map. Well, for your house, I mean. And here we go. All the stuff we technically need is in this chest. So what I'm just going to do is drop some stuff. Because it's going to take me a long time. There we go. And let me go in it again. And get the clay. That. Those. And that. There we go. Foundation. And now we need nail. How to get nails if you're doing this hard fire? You just go to the anvil, building materials, nails. It only costs one uh, unit, which I can easily get more. Boom. Now you need eight nails for it. So, what you're going to do is just go to this. Get ten more nails. And boom, walls. Now, roof, floor, and we need the roof, which only costs two nails. 
So, I like doing this. I'm not gonna lie. I love doing this kind of stuff because it's so fun. Like, yeah, it's a lot of money you're spending, but to me, it's worth it. Boom, and now a door. That's gonna be tough because I don't think we got enough iron. What we need is hinges, that, and I think a lock. And that takes all the iron. Boom. Now, the house is done. We can go in it. And it's not that good. But hey, it's better than... Well, you can buy a place, which I highly recommend. I just want to waste my money. But yeah, this is the house. It's not that big. But here's the thing though. We can customize the inside of it. With containers, furniture, shelves, exterior, and all this stuff. So I guess what we're going to do. Yep. We're going to find the Well, I'm going to. But also, I'm going to show you. Oh, by the way, there's going to be a bonus episode. If i got time. I'm going to fight the secret boss. There's two. I know three. Now, there's three secret bosses. One in one of the DLCs. And two in vanilla. The Headless Horseman. And one in with Thyacin, I think I say it correctly. But, those will be bonus episodes. The first one I want to fight is, of course, the Reaper. Because that name sounds awesome. The Reaper. And arrows and crossbows bolts can be crafted, but I think it's in hearth fire. But yeah, I if you don't got Skyrim, I recommend the Legendary Edition. That's what I have. It's... Save awesome because it's Bethesda, and yeah. But anything after that is pretty good. The graphic looks good. The gameplay looks is fabulous. The NPCs coding needs a little bit of work, but it'll buff out. Um, there's a lot of glitches. Do you guys like glitches? And no, not the bad kind. There are actually some good glitches, like money. You can get better armor, basically. And what I do, well, what I'm going to do, if I can get the necessary materials, is make full draconic armor. Let's turn that into something good. Any iron? Nope, no iron chips. Okay, hi, Grammar. Cozy little place, isn't this? A little bit. That. And that. There we go. Oh, if you hear those, they're just trolls, nothing biggie. Now, this is the first crossbow you will get. I try to avoid this. It's wooden, but there's different kinds. Let me find the... girl. Yeah. Well, I knew it would come to this one day. Hope you're getting along with me. We got to sell. I'll buy whatever you're looking to get rid of. Okay. This is the normal crossbow. This is the first one you get in the DLC. You just have to wait for the character to stop talking and give you this. Next up is the enhanced crossbow. Nothing big, nothing new, I think. I don't know, let me double check. Yeah, nothing new. But it does. Uh, it attacks. Attacks with this crossbow ignore 50% damage. Well, not damage, armor. That's the best one at the wooding crossbow. Next is the dwarven crossbow. This crossbow, if you don't want to get an enhanced version, this is pretty good. But the enhanced crossbow does the same thing as the enhanced crossbow. But, yeah, it's, I like it more. Now, there are different kinds of bolts. Exploding bolts are very valuable for me. One does fire. 
Ice and Shock. And also you can buy bolts, which I always do. But if you want to do some special arrows things, they have elven arrows. Those are used for something special. As you can see, I saw my Jordan bow, sure. Um, look, she has a fire, sunfire that damages all undeads. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's it. Oh, that's right. She can also train you in marching ship. Farewell. Rovar! This is our sense of what's right. Keep yourself armed. And He's a blacksmith in this part. He always sell you the crossbow, but also other things you want. Like glass arrows, Elven War Axe if we want those. See so last, I always get the bolts. And yeah, that's pretty good. But also you can buy the normal armor, the bounded stuff. But also the unique ones. Down guard armor. And also a Gondard full helmet. This is light. Well the down guard armor is light, like a Gondar set. There's heavy armor. As you can tell, it's heavy. Buy some other stuff. Any bows, any shields, all that stuff. Well, like I said before, he sells uh, iron, steel, all that stuff. And plus, you can buy a troll from him. Up here, there's the trolls. And, yes. I have a little bit of. Oh, I have one Elven Arrow, which is not that good if you're asking me. But now it's time to show you the special. You got a special bow, which is very, very good. Yeah, I know using heavy weapons or armor slows you down. I know this. But there's a skill point. Well, steal out makes that go away. Come on. Okay. Let's go where somewhere safe. Um. We'll go to the house. Let's go to the manor. Where is it? Manor, 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 manor. Manor. Now then. I also went to the down, not down guard, Dragon Warrior DLC to get a unique weapon. It is pretty good in my opinion. Some people will use the ME Blade, which I always use because life steal. Yeah, this should work. Okay, where it is? On, on. I'll just tell you more about the bow. This DLC is pretty fun, but I highly recommend getting the Wolf Guard, or whatever you want to call it. Because that takes care of basically the enemies you have to deal with. Well, one part of them. There are three different kinds. One is the new, ver well, not new. But new version of the Falmore, aka the Snow Elves. Where is this fucking sun? There it is. Okay. This item is called the... Oh, fuck, I forgot it. Fuck it. I'll get it. Is that the... Part one house? I might join about the Blood Hood, I want to call him. Thing that he has a Jagic knife and a Jagic sword. Oh, that's another thing I need to show you guys. It is fucking hysterical for me. 
Well, in the game, well, in one of the DLCs, you'll get, you can adopt kids. I already adopted one of them. So I'm going to get the next one. Um, you can give them items like a toy doll, a wooden sword, clothes, and some other stuff I don't know about. And plus snacks and all this stuff. Hello. You're home. Let's play a game. Not right uh, now. This is a unique weapon. I uh, might as well get that. Also, the bow. Where is that? Interesting. Did I forget it? Okay. I'll take the play, I guess. Hmm. Oh. Fucking stupid. Well, I guess I get the other unique weapon. I'm very sorry that you have to watch my uh, stupidity. I am tired. I didn't have my caffeine yet. Let's go back to the manor. We need to find the sun again. That's fun. Okay, is it in here? Yes, this is. Okay. Oh, and the uh, other weapon. Okay. First that comes up is the Argo's bow. 20 points of sun damage, which undead hates. But to undead targets, take triple damage. But if you have a special arrow, let me just make it daytime again. Some... Okay. The Sun Hollow Elven Arrows cause sunburst attacks. I'm just gonna say that much. Because you're gonna witness it yourself. If you hit arrow, a sun with the special arrows, this happens. That's not quite nice. That's the most powerful attack, and you see it change. And plus, I got a quite, uh, achievement. I'm just gonna look it up. Use a special power of Ebony's bow or arrows. I don't know. That's what you get from this bow. It's pretty powerful. So let's just mark that off. And you already seen that, especially deadly elves. That's why I used. The Blood Scale Sword! As you can tell, it has a unique feature, but releases energy blast with power attack that does 30 damage. It does 37 damage, it's the 2 minute gray sword. But watch this. That is one of his special abilities. It's used to energy blast, which is pretty awesome. Let's just put these two up.
Next up is Torkin Sword. It is the unique version of a blade, but as you can see in the handle, it's different. It does absorbs 15 health of magic. Well, health, magic, and stamina if you're wielded by a vampire. So, guess what we're going to give this to? What now? Alright, let's see what you have. I gave some stuff to her because, you know, I don't need it. But let's give this to her. Still sick with the goddamn dagger. Okay. But that weapon is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And that's all the unique weapons. For now at least. I hope you liked this video if you did like how do these guys get here? Fuck it. Um yeah, it looks good and all that stuff. Peace out and hope you like the video. Oh, oh.